This video is brought to you by Altium. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a contactless temperature monitoring system using MLX 90614 non contact infrared temperature sensor, Arduino, and SSD 1306 I2C supported OLED display module. This is the Gravity I2C supported non contact IR temperature sensor, which I recently got from the DF robot. This is a medical grade non-contact temperature sensor and offers an accuracy of plus minus 0.2 degrees Celsius in a limited temperature range around the human body temperature. As a standard, the MLX 90614 is calibrated for an object emissivity of 1. I have seen guys completely ignoring the emissivity value when using the MLX 90614 infrared temperature sensor. Let me first explain what is emissivity and then I will practically explain what happens when you ignore the emissivity value. Emissivity is a measure of the efficiency in which a surface emits thermal energy. It is defined as the fraction of energy being emitted relative to that emitted by a thermally black surface or a black body. A black body is a material that is a perfect emitter of heat energy and has an emissivity value of 1. A material with an emissivity value of 0 would be considered a perfect thermal mirror. For example, if an object had the potential to emit 100 units of energy but only emits 90 units in the real world, then that object would have an emissivity value of 0 0.90. In the real world, there are no perfect Blake bodies and very few perfect infrared mirrors, so most objects have an emissivity between 0 and 1. Different objects have different emissivity values and when you ignore the emissivity value, then you will end up getting the wrong temperature readings. As I said earlier, as a standard, the MLX 9614 is calibrated for an object emissivity of 1. So let's say, if you want to measure the temperature of a human body, then you will need to recalibrate your MLX 9614 non-contact infrared temperature sensor. Let me practically show you. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Route it your way through any angle, tune for the delay push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, then you can click on the first link in the description. During my first test, I am completely ignoring the emissivity value and I am going with the standard emissivity value of 1. To check how accurate is the temperature reading of the MLX 9614, first I am going to measure the temperature of my hand using a surface contact based temperature sensor DS18B20.
you can see the temperature is around 35 degrees Celsius. Now I'm going to measure the temperature using MLX 9614 and Arduino based thermometer. You can see the temperature is around 41 degrees Celsius which is not accurate because I'm using the emissivity value of 1 while the emissivity value of the human skin is between 0 0.95 and 0 0.98. Now I'm going to measure the temperature using my calibrated MLX 9614 non-contact infrared temperature sensor. I'm using the emissivity value of 0 0.98. You can see the temperature is around 35 degrees Celsius which is pretty close to the temperature measured with DS18B20. This small difference of temperature which you can see can be due to the sensor itself as it has the temperature accuracy between plus minus 0 0.2 degrees Celsius and plus minus 0 0.5 degrees Celsius. For the initial calibration use a standard temperature meter as a reference. Anyways a small temperature difference is not a big deal you can always fine tune the values using calibration factor value in the programming. If your target surface is particularly reflective or if you need a higher level of accuracy on your readings, consider verifying the emissivity of a surface with the help of a surface prop and meter as I demonstrated. Using a chart value as starting point, adjust the emissivity setting on your infrared thermometer up and down until the temperature reading on your infrared thermometer matches the temperature reading recorded by the surface probe and meter. You can download the emissivity charge from a website electronicclinic.com. Anyways, I checked temperature of other objects with their suggested emissivity values and the results were quite impressive. Later in this video, I will explain how to change the emissivity value. Now you have got an idea of what exactly you are going to learn after watching this video. So without any further delay, let's get started. <music> Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from TF Robot and Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the Gravity MLX 9614 non contact infrared temperature sensor from the TF Robot. Due to its large field of view, 35 degrees, it is most suitable for commercial application. Non contact measurement uses infrared radiation to measure the temperature and does not require a direct contact or touch. The operating voltage is 3.3 volts to 5 volts. The measurement accuracy is between plus minus 0.2 degrees Celsius and plus minus 0.5 degrees Celsius. Temperature range is from minus 70.01 degrees Celsius to plus 380 degrees Celsius with 0.01 degrees Celsius resolution. Its interface type is I2C and it weighs around 15 grams. For more technical details, read my article. You can find a link in the description. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram. The MLX9614 IR thermometer sensor and the SSD1306 OLED display module both are I2C supported devices. The SCL and SDA pins of both modules are connected with the A5 and A4 pins. A5 is the SCL and A4 is the SDA, while the VCC and ground pins of both the modules are connected with the 5 volt and ground. These are the minimal connections that you will need to test everything. If you don't want to use your computer to power up the Arduino, then you can use an external 5 volt power supply. On the top left side is the regular 5 volt power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator. J1 is the DC female power jig 
And this is where we connect our 12 volts DC power supply. You can also use a battery or a solar panel. Make sure you keep the voltage below 28 volts. I connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download the DF Robot MLX9614 library. Click on the sketch menu, go to include library and then click on the manage libraries. Search for the MLX9614. Install the DF Robot MLX9614. As you can see, I have already installed the latest version. You will also need to download these other libraries the same way or you can download these libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. I will provide a link in the description. This is just a simple code. The only thing that you need to take care of is this emissivity correction coefficient value. Right now I'm using 0.98 value. I checked the header file and found it's just the correction factor value. You can play with this value until your temperature reading matches with the temperature of other standard sensor that you're using as the reference. The rest of the code is pretty straightforward. We read the ambient temperature, the object temperature, and then print these values on the serial monitor and also on the OLED display module. So that's all about the programming. I have already uploaded the program that's watched the MLX9614 non-contact infrared temperature sensor and action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.